Hi everyone. Thanks for tuning back in. I'm coming to you today on a beautiful spring day here in Colorado and uh, it is perfect flying weather. I am getting ready to go out and start flying again which is fantastic. It's been six months of no flying either due to weather or my cancer treatments but today is different. Today is going to be a perfect day for flying and the minute I can get down the road to get the drone up in the air, I'm going to do it. But I wanted to give you guys uh, a further update on my cancer treatments. In my last video, uh, I talked a lot about what I was going through at the time and uh, every single one, a bit of it was valid. It was completely valid. But uh, um, there's been some things going on since then that uh, I wanted to update you on. Um, the first thing is, is the weight loss. Here's a side-by-side -side picture of me before treatments and me just a few days ago. The difference is amazing. It's 76 pounds so far that I've lost. Now, I wouldn't recommend this weight loss plan to everybody because uh, cancer pretty much sucks. But um, the good thing is, if there is a positive thing about this, it's, it's the weight loss. I was 334 pounds when I started this, and I'm now down to 250, well, as of this morning, 256 pounds. So that's 79 pounds of weight loss that I've had in the last six months. So... Yeah, things are uh, uh, a, a bit crazy on that end. Um, it does help that I really still can't swallow too much. The pain in the throat is is going away. I mean, I hardly have any pain anymore. I used to wake up in the morning and have, on a scale of 1 to 10, the pain would be a solid 6 to 7 I'm easily when I first woke up. And then throughout the day, it would fade down to maybe a 4. Uh, now when I wake up, it's maybe a two in the throat. And as the day goes by, there's no pain in the throat. Um, normally, uh, there's still quite a bit of mucus back there, which is why you see me swallowing a lot. Um, I'm really trying hard not to, uh, you know, bring this up on camera, but, uh, there still is quite a bit of mucus. Uh, I have been going to physical therapy where they do a massage on my lymph nodes and um, they get up here they go down and pretty much hit every lymph node between basically my groin and my neck um, it does help uh, if you have this type of cancer and you're going through radiation treatments I would highly recommend looking for lymphotomy uh, uh, massage uh, my, my insurance covers it uh, not a lot do but mine does, thankfully. So look into that. Um, <clears throat> so I've been fighting, uh, going through uh, the recovery process. And I'm telling you, the recovery process was worse than the treatment process. Um, as I said in my last video, I had no energy to do absolutely anything. I couldn't eat. Um, I could barely drink. I had, I drank just enough to keep myself out of the hospital or so I thought, but with complications due to chemotherapy and dehydration, I ended up developing blood clots. So, uh, I am on blood thinners, uh, but that's okay. You know, it's a small price to pay for my life and I'm very, very happy, happy to be here. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, where was I going with that? Oh, um, so my energy levels were way low. Uh, my daughter, or my middle daughter turned 17 in, uh, in February and she wanted me to make her a homemade mayonnaise cake, which for the, those of you in the rural areas know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I was able to barely do that. I was, I did that with her help and, um, she also wanted some Thai, uh, chicken wraps, which... I am very, very happy to do for her, but my 10 year old son had to come in and, and help me get that cleaned up or cooked up. So I'm very blessed with all of the support 
and all of the help that I get around here. Um, I really couldn't do it without any of them, to be honest with you. Um, so things kind of went on um, for the last few months and uh, I kept getting better and better and better. And uh, yeah, I had a doctor's appointment uh, actually, uh, my three-month PET scan just this past Friday. And when you're waiting on a scan, let me, let me just put it this way. When you're waiting on a scan um, as a cancer patient, um, things are extremely stressful. Um, you have anxiety about, well, what, what are they going to find? Um, if they do find something else, are they going to... Uh, what, what's the treatment options that I have? What's the survival rate um, if they find something after three months? Um, and I was ex I was told not to expect very much from the three month scan. Uh, I was told that you know I'm gonna get a, there's gonna be a lot of uptake in the lymph nodes still. There's gonna be a lot of um, uh, uh, radiation or not radiation. What do I want to say? There's gonna be a lot of um, information or a lot of um, colors, let's put it that way, on the uh, three-month scan. They didn't really expect much. Um, so I went in for the scan uh, expecting the worst, um, worst case scenario. Um, Coach Bessler, if you're watching, uh, I always live by the advice. Uh, prepare for the worst but hope for the best and so I was prepared for the worst I went in for my PET scan um, an hour later I get on the call with my oncologist and the tumor is gone there's absolutely no trace of the tumor anywhere left in my body they went from head to toe and they found no other evidence of cancer no other evidence of tumors um, there is some calcification here in the lymph nodes, which is not really a cause for concern. Uh, although my, my ear, nose, and throat guy is going to probably want to go in and cut it out just to make sure that there's not any leftover carcinoma left. And uh, wait for this airplane to go by. That's the problem with recording outside. You never know what you're going to get. But anyways, my ear, nose, and throat doctor is probably going to want to go in there and, and cut out, you know, the remaining lymph node just because there could be a, a little bit of a carcinogenic uh, cells left over. Uh, very, very rare chance of that happening. My uh, radiation oncologist and my uh, medical oncologist are both uh, advising me against that. Uh, just simply because they, they want to play the weight game. They, they want to keep everything intact. But my thinking is if there's even a slight chance of anything being left, I want it gone. Um, I don't want to risk l losing my life to this, this, this disease. So, um, yeah, that's that's my thoughts on that. I, I I have an appointment with my ear, nose, and throat doctor on the sixth of May, and I will update you guys on how that goes and what we're going to be doing. Um, but in the meantime, the exciting news is the tumor is gone. I am tumor free. Um, there's no evidence of any tumors left in my body, so we can celebrate. Um, in fact, we have been celebrating all weekend. So <laughs> uh, things get a little crazy. Um, but also, I'm going to be able to get out and start flying again. I'm going to start being able to um, produce uh, aerial footage for all of my fans out there. I'm going to start to be able to uh, devote more energy and time into m my droning. Um, I have begun my part 107 certification those of you who follow me on instagram and uh facebook uh links are below by the way uh know that i've started this and i am going to put together a video documenting 
my journey through that. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's pretty exciting. Um, things are going great. Um, if we could just get over this COVID-19 and be able to go out and actually have some fun this summer, that'll be a fantastic. But you know what? I'm not rushing it because I'm alive. I'm a cancer survivor. And if I can do it and I can get through this, anybody can get through this. And I would encourage you to reach out, um, direct message me, leave a comment below if you're fighting this or if you know somebody who's fighting this or if you're caring for somebody who's fighting cancer and you just need a little pick-me-up, uh, I'm here to help. Uh, direct message me anytime and uh, I will respond just as soon as I, I possibly can. Um, but anyways, looking at the timer, this video is about 12 minutes long and it's uh, getting a little rambly so I'm gonna go ahead and let you go but I do appreciate everything that you guys have done for me I love you all thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and we'll catch you in the next video